Alright guys, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to teach you how to get fast hands and explosive power. Don't get it mixed up, those two things are different. Fast hands and explosive power require two different types of training. So I'm going to show you some couple of trainings how to get explosive power and extremely fast hands, alright? Don't get it mixed up, alright? They're two different things, so don't, don't get it mixed up guys. I'm going to break it down right now. Alright, let me show you what fast hands are like. All right, you see that, right? That's fast hands, all right? The ability to fire, boom, 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 boom. A combination of shots rapidly in succession. I like Manny Pacquiao, he goes, <laughs> yeah. It's fast, you know, but that's not explosive power. Explosive power is like this. From, from, from the chin, or wherever you like to keep your hand, it just pops out like that, like Floyd. Floyd has a lot of explosive power. It's a little snap. You think it's light, but it's a lot of power behind that snap. Left hook, right hand, and Marquez says, come on then, there's some bravery, a Mexican heart. See that elbow comes forward, he catches a lot on that elbow. Elbow out, oh, there's the big right hand it. again. Another right hand. Now you just in round one, and we sometimes see in several of Floyd Mayweather's fights. There's a right hand by Mayweather that tags my daughter. Mayweather now getting into rhythm, changing the looks. When it's just, boom! It's just like that. that. That's what explosive power is. It explodes. It's not consecutive shots like how Pacquiao does it. That's speed. You know, if you want to get speed and explosive power, it requires two different workouts, but you can merge them together in a real fight. All right, we're going to start off with learning how to get fast hands, all right? Before every workout, you would want to warm up with shadow boxing and cool down with shadow boxing. You don't want your muscles to start off cold and cool off too fast. So always start off your, sh your workouts with shadow boxing. All right, that's step number one. That's the most important rule because it doesn't matter if you don't do anything and you try to go fast or not, it's not gonna happen. I can't just, hey man, go fast. And I can't just go right off the bat, super lightning fast like how you see in my videos. It takes me like 30 minutes, an hour into my workout when my body's all hot and sweating. That's when I can reach my peak potential speed. We see in those videos where I'm just blazing, yeah. That's how you get fast. All right, tip number two, you gotta have proper form. All right, I don't care who you are, I don't care how strong you are, if you don't have proper form, you ain't going fast. So just imagine like a race car, all right? When you're going fast, the steering wheel, like a Bugatti Veyron, you know that is the fastest car in the world, or the Koenig say. You're going 250 miles an hour, and you see behind the wheel, the guy's steering wheel is like this. You don't see him shaking the steering wheel. It's the same thing as shadow boxing. All right, when you're shadow boxing, you want to stay balanced as possible. You squat down a little bit, you stay balanced, and your hands fire from there. You don't do all this funky motion, and you're like trying to look cool and impress the girl across the room. Okay, that doesn't happen. You don't do that. You cannot get fast. You gotta, you gotta power down. Your body's straight, just like this. Arms up, and you, you have proper form. Left, right, left hook, right hook, left uppercut, right uppercut. Those are all the punches to boxing. There's nothing else to it. You can't elbow anybody. This is not tie fighting. Okay, you have those simple punches. They have to master before you can attempt to go fast. All right, so we're gonna go boom, 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 just like that. We're gonna work on these simple six punches. Left, right, left hook, right hook, left uppercut, right uppercut. Just like that. Simple and easy. Those are the, the basic, the bare bones of boxing. You get those punches down, you can easily become fast. You just gotta warm up, get hot. And then I see, there's like another problem in the gym. All these boxers are trying to look good, and they're like moving in literally, moving in slow motion in the gym. I see people move in slow motion in shadow boxing. For like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, they just go like this. And then they wonder why, why am I not fast? I mean, you're, you're literally moving like this fast, and you want to be fast. It's all in the mind. When they say boxing is 10% physical and 90% mental, if you want to be fast, you can always think in your head, I'm the fastest, I'm fast, I gotta snap, I gotta go. See, so when you're shadow boxing, you always want to go boom, 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 just like that. You always want to, bah, 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 bah. you always gotta be popping. You always gotta be from the basics. Everything comes off from the basics. If you don't have your fundamentals right, I guarantee you, this video will be useless to you. You cannot do anything. Your speed will not be there. It does not work. All right. So that's the two basic rules. You gotta warm up and cool down before, work, after, before and after a workout. You have proper form, and then from there, you just gotta have the mentality 
All right, we'll keep that as tip number three. Tip and rule number three. Your mentality has to be there. It's all in the mind, all right? You're only as good as you say you are. Not that guy to the left of you, not the guy to the right of you. It's you, all right? The only person that can defeat you is you. So if you believe that you're the fastest man in the world and you're the fastest man in the world, it's all in the mind, all right? Pop, pop, pop. All right, one of the cool toys I like to use to help me warm up and improve my hand coordination, hand eye coordination and speed is the double end speed bag. It's not like your typical double end speed bag where it's like really big, but it's pretty small. And it's fast, like that, see? So I'm always working on the boom, 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 It gets me in the rhythm. And this is one of the tools I use almost every day, every day. And this is just like a little tennis ball. I mean, you can get, it's a, it's a, it's a therapy uh, ball. It's like an anger therapy ball where you squeeze like this. And I, I poked a hole through it and I grabbed just some rubber band and I made it into this. And I hook it up onto my ceiling. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to build it in another video. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see. Or you guys can get the same thing on Winning USA. My friend has it. I'll show you a picture of it right here. Looks just like this, does the exact same thing. You guys can just get that and do it yourself. So I'm gonna show you a little sample of what it looks like when I use this. It's like me simulating a fight. When I'm using this, I'm imagining I'm fighting somebody. <laughs> it always helps me every day. Simulating a fight in my mind. All right, lastly, to help you get your speed, if you want to use one pound weights, when you shadow box, that's totally fine. It's not that important to me, but I, everybody uses weights to shadow box, so yeah. All right, let's work on building some explosive power. So first, I always use a resistance band. I have an army of resistance band in the back. I want to use this basic one just for today, all right? I switch up the weight every day, so it's a, depending on how you feel, you switch up the weight to listen to your body. So the first thing I do to get my, my punches super explosive is I hold it like this, I get in my boxing stance, just like that, and I just, boom, just like that, boom. I, I fire off. I don't fire off like back to back. I fire off, I hold it, and I wait. I, I don't, there, there's tension, so I, I push it out until there's tension between the ropes. Right? And then I just fire. Boom! 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 And focus on your breathing when you're doing this. When you fire, you want to exert as much power as you can and just force all the air out of you. So you just want to go boom! You're giving everything 110%. This is no this is no exercise to go 30%. This is 100%. Alright? It's not hanging loose. It's stretched out a little bit. You're in your fighting stance and you fire. And it goes the same way for the other hand. So just do exactly how I did with my right hand to your left hand. See, that's the first one. For the little pop, the muscle pop is what you're trying to aim for. So anything that makes your muscles go from, from a standstill to boom, that's what you aim for. Clap push-ups, I do a lot of clap push-ups. I do more clap push-ups than regular push-ups because clap push-ups help you explode off the ground. I'm gonna show you like this how you do it. So all right, these are the basic clap push-ups that I do on a daily basis instead of regular push-ups. I go down. Like this, and I clap. And I do 10, 10 a rep, and I go all up to 200. And depending on how I feel, I might do 25 a rep, 30 a rep, and I just keep going until I reach 200. And 200 is all you need. Don't do it like this with your elbows outside. Do it with your elbows inside. So let me give you a side angle. When you're doing it like this, inside like that. That's how you want it. You want to keep your elbows tucked in. So when you're fighting, you're not fighting like this. You're fighting like that. Elbows tucked in, and you fire off, and clap. If you get good enough, you can clap, clap, or clap. Yeah, so try to be creative in your workouts, have fun. Don't get too bored, and just do everything I say. All right, add your own flavor into it. All right, second workout I like to do with the resistance band to build more explosive power, aside from punching with your arms, I keep it tight to my chest like this. Then I go, boom, boom, boom. And you do it with the other side too. When you do it with your other side, you do the exact same way. And you only want to do like six to eight sets. Six, you only want to do like six to eight reps. You don't want to do an extreme great amount because you're not building explosiveness. You're building endurance. Explosiveness is maximum of six to eight reps, heavy as you can go, and as hard as you can go. Everything you do for explosiveness is full power. There's no speed, all right? Speed is what I showed you guys at first. Shadow boxing, a lot. Multiple, continu continuation, endurance, all right? You guys pop fire, 
all that good stuff. But explosiveness, single, single, power, 100%, 200%. Every single pump you do is 200%. And you only do six to eight reps, five sets most per set of whatever you're doing. You can be benching and you can build explosiveness from that. You don't go too heavy, you go just enough. Go 80% of your max as you're benching. As you go down, relax, boom, fire off. As you go down, boom, fire off. And that fire off is where the explosiveness comes from. And when you fire off, you wanna be firing off at 200%, 150%. Everything you got, and when you're done with your explosive workout, you should be dead tired. Like everything should have left your body already. But don't mix your explosive workouts with your speed workouts, all right? Just keep those two separate. Because when you're doing your speed workout, you're normally doing boxing and stuff like that. When you're doing your explosive workout, that's in your strength and conditioning. That's when you're like in the gym, resistance band, dumbbells, bench press, all right? You can grab on a bench, a dumbbell. Give me a second. This is a three pound dumbbell, but we'll just say it's a 35 pound dumbbell for now. 35 pound is like 80% to me, 90% of my maximum. So I hold it like this and I just, boom, fire it into the air. I switch it to the other side, boom, and I fire it into the air. But the weight you want to use with a dumbbell is 80% of your max. Never max out because you want to save that for the ring. But if you want to build explosiveness, you grab a dumbbell like that, 80% to 90% of your full power, and you only want to do six to eight reps per set. Just boom, as hard as you can, 100%. All right, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna clip these other workouts right here. You guys can use these as references to what I do because this is where I learned it from and it has helped me a lot, so check it out. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I'll get more in depth with speed or explosiveness. You guys get to choose in the comments below or on Instagram, let me know. If you guys want to see speed, I'll get way more in depth with speed. If you guys want to see explosiveness, I'll get a full workout in there. Everything I do for explosiveness, full entire workout. But this, this is just breaking the ice for you guys, for you beginners. Because this video is just to cover beginners. If a beginner watched this, any beginner can get a good decent amount of speed and explosiveness off of this. You don't need much, you don't need a million dollar facility, all right? This living room is literally five feet, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight feet wide and eight feet wide and 14 feet long. And I won four national tournaments training out of this living room. I train in this living room. I literally can take two steps and I'll be on the other side. I, you don't need a million dollar facility to get where you need to be, all right? You need your surroundings. You need your whatever you can get around you to make it happen, all right? That's how I did it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goal is to hit a thousand subscribers soon. So let's help me get there and yeah, share it with your friends and family. Anybody that wants to see this video or need some helpful tips, my channel is all about crazy stuff I do on my Instagram, behind the scenes, fitness, getting fit, diet routines, diet regimens, workout, full workout videos, everything. All right, like and subscribe. Till next time, guys, I'm out.